This is such a simple and profound philosophy. Follow your passion. And I, I, I tell kids, younger people, even older guys, that almost every day. You know, so I hate my job. And, how can you do that every day? I love it. I shaped my first board in fall of 69. Being raised by a mathematician, I was always, as an artist, but I was also very, um, what's the word, numeric, I guess, my outlook on things. And, and uh, I started using numeric control. But I was all, you know, since the beginning, I was always interested in everything. And I, you know, my early influence is Jock Sutherland. And I, uh, I didn't really have a shaper as an influence before Dick Brewer. And I went to shop on Capulani and I, I ordered a custom brewer. And, he found out that I was an aspiring shaper, and he said, no, I'm not going to do it. So he handed it off to Sam Hawk, and, today, and to this day, it's still one of the best boards I've ever ridden. I remember it was uh, January 1981, I was at Blacks, I was always at Blacks, and I knew Greg Mungle, and he rode for Nectar Surfboards, and he was walking down the beach, and he was walking with a big guy, with kind of a weird looking board, and I, re I recognized it was Simon Anderson. And so he introduced me, and I looked at Simon's door, and I go, well, that's kind of chipping your jam. I need something new I'm working on. Simon, I, I sat in the sand, I watched, and my his first his first wave, my jaw hit the sand. And Simon went down to the bottom, and did a square bottom turn, came up past the rail, did a gaff, and did it 10 more times on a 200 yard long wave, and I went, no, it just didn't happen. <laughs> and and, uh, and I, wa I watched for two hours, and I just, uh, that f late fall, 81, and Simon, that's the year Simon won on, on a thruster. And it changed the world. So that started my wheels turning. Yeah, in, late, in, in late 85, I started the Rusty Brand. Bob Hurley, I know he's a shaper, he, got, he had just got the license for the U.S. to build on it. I said, hey, Rusty, do you mind making a couple more boards? I'll pay you. And I went, fuck yeah. Yeah, I mean, Aki started blowing people's minds. And I had all of these top pros coming to me because, well, if we can't beat them, we got to join them. And Tom Carroll, he got bored with me for a couple of years and he gives me credit for a second world title. I mean, I tried to make a list of all the guys that have been to my boards. And I, 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 got, I got about 50 or 60 of you know, top pros in the last 40 years and there's probably another 40 missing i don't know i i was looking at my real templates that in the shaping room and i said oh i made him boards too i made him boards oh cool. in the late 80s early 90s kkl was the first computer aided uh, you know cad driven machine uh, to make surfboards and i was building 10,000 boards a year and it, it, it really helped I had like 10 or 12 shapers working for me then. I go, you know what, I'm just gonna give the, I, I just, they're all pretty good. I'm just not gonna use the machine anymore out of respect to the shaper. They just didn't, I felt like I was taking work away from them. Um, but as the years went by, I noticed I'd go in the shops and check the boards and all the merits were put, you know, same on, same on, whatever, or whatever. Um, my boards are kind of <laughs> the place. There's, they're popular, but they're all over the place. And I heard about um, uh, this software called DSD in a machine out of Brazil. Um, and they dialed me in, and I said, we're in a machine. And, and, and that was like 99. And I haven't looked back since. I, I continued to hand shape for a few years. And then up until recently, I finished boards. But the software I work with is Shape 3D, and it's always evolving. And I'm always evolving. The team writers help me evolve, you know, and I have my own ideas, so I'm always evolving. And, but I look, I look at boards that are three months old, I look at the programs, I go, oh. <laughs> I can fix it here, I can fix it there, I can make the whole thing a little bit clearer. So I'm, I'm constantly learning, you know, it's just, uh, you know, when Aki, Aki said, how many the same board, as a handship, I couldn't help myself, I always try to make it better. And usually they were better, but sometimes they took a step back. Usually with a computer, I nail it. You know, people thank me for the boards and 
But when I get an email back from them, or a text or something, man, it's, that board is so, that board's so much better than the last one. That board's the best. I'm so ha uh, happy. One word, happy. If I make somebody happy, I'm happy. No, if they're not happy, I try a few times and they're still not happy, fuck them. No. <laughs> Anyways, no, my biggest reward is making somebody happy. Uh, whether it's a pro or if it's a complete beginner. And uh, that's, that's, that's why I shave. <laughs>